Hi guys, it's Claire. Um, I'm back today doing another video for the UK Scrap Addicts design team. This month the challenge or theme is fussy cutting. So I am going to play with today these papers that are from the gorgeous Minte Marina collection. This is a collection that we sell in our shop. Um, so I'll link it down below so that you can head over and buy a collection if you want. It does come with a lot more papers than this. I'll be honest with you, this is all I've got left from an open packet. It comes with, I think, 12 double-sided sheets. I've got this handful of papers left and a few of the fussy cutting or little elements for you to fussy cut so I'm going to try and make do with using this rather than opening another packet um, yeah so because it's the fussy cutting for this month I thought this would be perfect because all these little elements are absolutely gorgeous once they're cut out um, I've got a few actually in a bag just off to the side here that I have already cut out but not ended up using so I might use some of those I might cut some more we shall see how we go um yeah so I've got three of those sheets if I were to need that many but I very much doubt that I'll need all of those on the back of there is a lovely blue wood grain which I've got here I've got this piece that's got the gorgeous frames on there which I really like and also some nice cutter parts there we've got a pink piece with wood grain again this piece with the little boats on and that's this that's that dot on the back and then we've got this piece here with another different wood grain on the back now my thought, thoughts so far are that i'm going to use those bits along with these photos that were taken recently i've just printed these out these are some pictures of myself and my husband um just on a local beach we went for just a walk along the beach took some selfies my husband was making a stone sculpture there <laughs> um so i've printed these out and i've printed them a slightly funny size because they are the size that is going to fit into these frames perfectly so again to stick with the theme of fussy cutting i thought i would fussy cut out three of these frames and start off by mounting my photos on them i then think i'm going to go with this wood grain paper and have the three photos or the whole design somewhat down the middle of the layout um, and maybe do some mixed media as well and sort of incorporate all these little fussy cut elements I don't know that's sort of as far as I've got is I like that blue wood grain I want to use the frames and I've printed my photos to fit in there that's sort of it so far although I, I am thinking that I might trim this down and have it mounted on another piece which I think would end up being that blue polka dot piece but then is that too blue I'm not too sure if we do blue on blue if I'm going to like that because I would like to try and get some of the red in there so that when we get the little elements, these obviously have all got hints of red going through. I'd quite like to have the red around the outside as well. So I'm not sure about mounting it on the blue or just leaving it as one whole piece or even just cutting it down and mounting it on white, which I might do. Or do I mount it on one of these so you just see a little bit of red but I don't think I like that very much. Do you know, I might actually just go with plain white, just cut it down a little bit and have a plain white border and then I can ruffle up the edges a little bit. And I think because I want it to be a vertical design, I want to keep the wood grain going this way. So that's where I think I'm going to start. So let's chop, well, let me grab a piece of white. Yeah, I think I'm going to keep it just on a white border, you know, and it doesn't pull in that red, I know, but I think I just like that being kept white rather than that blue polka dot behind. Yeah, I um, don't know. What do you think? Mm -mm -mm, it's tricky. Maybe I go. will go with the blue, but just with that really, if I line that up perfectly, I get a nice little line of just one line of dots. Maybe I'll do that. Okay, let's trim this down.
think I'm going to distress my edges with the distress tool. Right, we can flat stick that onto there, I like that. Seems a bit of a waste, doesn't it, to use those little pieces on a back on the behind, but it doesn't matter, we've got more. Okay, so that's gonna be the base. Now let's get to doing some cutting. Three of these frames. the outside of my frames but I do just want to take the middles out as well so that I can actually put them on top of my photos. Let's move that out of the way for a minute. One little frame. There you go, that's my three little frame, three little frames done. And I'll distress the edges of those a little bit too. Okay, now hopefully they are the right size to go over here. Yeah. A little bit smaller, but they're okay. Okay, so I'm gonna get some sticky strip and stick those down. Okay, so that's my photos all done and ready to go. I'm just gonna actually pop some card on the back of all of them. So back to the actual page. I want to have some sort of, something like this I'm thinking. Oops, get off. Okay, I think that's good position, I like that. But I do think I want to do some sort of mixed media in the background. So I just wanna make a few pencil marks where my photos are going. So I know roughly where they're positioned. And I wanna try and get some stenciling texture paste in the background. Okay, I've chosen this Tim Holtz stencil and the texture paste I'm using is going to be Ranger texture paste. I'm just going to pop that on A 
like so. I don't think it shows up much at the minute, but let's dry that off. Okay, now that's dry, just about, just about dry. I'm just gonna get some color on there. So I've pulled out um, Distress Oxide in Blue Print, Print Sketch and in Barn Door. And I wanna try and get some sort of flicks of color all over there. So the way I'm gonna do that, I'm actually working on a plastic surface here. So I'm gonna pop some of this down, give it a little spritz of water, pick it up with a brush and hopefully just be able to flick some colour down. Okay, that's not coming out as heavy as I want. Let's get a bit braver. Let's pop some directly on here and spray it. That's better. I'm trying to get this sort of positioned behind where my photos were. So I'm trying to see where my little pencil lines were, although it's actually quite hard now. To add a few ink drops now from some Windsor and Newton ink. So I'm just using a nozzle from an old plastic spray bottle that we actually always use to dip in the ink and get some flicks on there. I'm going to leave it to dry, leave it aside for a second while I do some fussy cutting of all those little elements. So as I showed you before, I've got that cut apart sheet and I've got those few bits that are already pre-cut in my bag. So I'm gonna just have a little play, do some fussy cutting and then come back to you in just a second. Okay, I'm back. This is almost dry now. It's still not keep quite perfectly dry, but it's okay. I've been having a little play of positioning where I want things. Um, and I can't quite see 100% where my little pencil marks are, where I first put them, but it doesn't matter too much. I'll just pop these on now where I think it looks okay. So I think something like that. Okay, that's gonna do. My background's warping a little bit where it got so wet, but I think it's gonna be okay. Okay, now I've got all my little fussy cut pieces because as you know, the theme for this month is fussy cut. So I fussy cut out a few little bits and pieces here. A couple of the seagulls. I've also got a couple of tags that I might use. A couple of doilies. And let's see how it goes. Now I was thinking of having a tag maybe peeking out from here. Hmm. Maybe I want that from up there. So let's snip this down. So it looks like it's coming out from up there. I'll put some twine in there in a bit. I have the other bit coming out the bottom. And then a doily maybe down here. And then maybe half a doily up here. Okay, let's commit. Let's be brave and just stick things down.
Okay, now I'd like to pop something here to give it some height. So maybe this lighthouse. But I'm not going to like this little trapped space here. So I've got a piece of wood grain that's red. I just want to almost sneak that in behind there. And I know we're going to lose some of what we've done with the distressing and everything on the background. But I actually think that will look better as a solid and I'm thinking I might have my title there somewhere as well. I don't know, maybe. Yeah, I think I'm gonna pop that in. And then should we pop this on here? Okay, so I like that. Got a couple of these bottles that I quite like. Glass bottles. They can be stuck together. And I think I want them to sit just there. I'm just gonna chop off the bottom a bit to make them easier to slip in. Yeah, like so. Okay, I've got this anchor that I really like. It's quite big, that's the only thing with this, but I would like to get it in. Yeah, I think it's gonna go there. I think I'm actually gonna pop that on foam pads though. Okay, so the bottom's on foam pads, and then a little bit of adhesive just to hold that top down. We have got, what else did I have? We've got another little bit of doily here, but I don't think we need that anyway. Just two bits there is fine. We've got two bits of silver. I would like to do threes, but at the minute it's not really feeling like it's going that way. We'll have a seagull up here. And another one here. Again, I think they can go on a little foam pad. We've got boat. I'm not sure if I need that anywhere actually. No, don't think I'm going to use that. Don't want that. We've got the shells, which I do like the shells and the starfish. I think we'll pop those on somewhere. Maybe here somewhere, but I'm going to see what my title, I think my title is actually going to sit there. And then what I've pulled out from my title is actually these words. Just move this aside for a second. And this, in this packet, there's about four packets of these words shoved in here. And they are just puffy sticker words. They're by Paper House. We pick them up in Hobby Lobby. But they're these puffy word stickers. I've used these quite a lot in various different layouts and I actually quite like this awesome. Um, as I say, I've got about four or five different packets all mixed in here, all different fonts and all different words. And I quite like the little arrows and hearts and everything as well that I've got here. But I think for this layout, do I want smile? Let's have a look. I do think I want it to sit there. My elf, it's quite nicely, but I think I actually want awesome. Or we could go bliss. No, don't like that. I think I'm going to go awesome. But I'm actually going to take off that little arrow at the end. I don't want it to have the little pointy arrow at the end. I'm going to stick that on there. That's it. So it's sort of a subtle title, but it but it is there. And then where does this fit? Will this fit nicely? I don't 
don't know if I want that right in the middle. That one might be better there. Yeah, I think I prefer it like that. Okay, so shells and starfish on. And then we'll use some of these little arrows from the same set. Actually, yeah, I've got another packet of these, so I'm going to open that up because it's got some of the silver bits that I can see in there. Let's get that out. So what have we got here? Uh, and then we've got some smaller ones. Uh, and then one just there. So we've got three little silver elements which ties in with the silver tag that we've got at the top and the bottom there. Move them all out the way. What else have we got? I've got these blue enamel dots. I don't particularly like the light blue, but the dark blue work quite nicely. And then we've also got some little silver dots, some little studs. Yeah, I like that. I think it's building up quite nicely. I think with all these little fussy cut pieces, it's actually quite, quite good. Does you think it needs anything else? I'm not sure. What do you think? Um, mm -mm. I like this texture. I'm not sure if it's picking up on camera, but in real life, this texture is looking really raised and really good. I like the ink in the background. I'm just not sure if it needs anything else. No, do you know what? I think I'm gonna leave it there. So, hope you like this video. I definitely stuck in the theme, which is fussy cut pieces, and I made a layout, so there you go. That's good enough. <laughs> hope you enjoyed watching it. There's a little close-up of everything, and I'll put some little close-up photos at the end as well for you to, to see. And that is it. Thanks very much for watching guys and I shall see you next time. Bye!